happened when you are baptized is what? The power of the Holy Spirit enters in each one of us when we are baptized. Therefore, after baptism, we begin to speak differently, we begin to act differently, we begin to be changed people. For example, stinginess turns into generosity, arrogance turns into humility. What else? Unkindness turns into kindness. And grouchiness turns into hospitality. What is anger, sudden anger turns into self-control, etc., etc. Does that happen at once? No. You see, salvation happens once. That's it. Once you are baptized, you go to heaven. That is done here. But uh, you have to work out your salvation into sanctification, be more like Jesus Christ. It's a lifelong process. You, we all are work in progress. WIP. We all are. But by the power of God, His love, and our God is good all the time, all the time. He is good. Therefore, when you walk through the valley of your darkest night, He will guide you. He will shine His light on you. He will work with you. He will help you to mold into be more like His Son, Jesus Christ. And His goodness his mercies will follow all the days of your life because you are baptized. You are. That's what it means to be baptized Christians. That's why we baptize infants too. Because infants don't get to know or don't get to profess their faith in Jesus Christ until they were able. Whenever it is, uh, you know, when they were growing up. But we want God's protection, God's blessing be upon them. We want the Holy Spirit enters into their lives. We want to signify that moment. We want to celebrate that moment when God gets hold of our babies. That's why we baptize infants according to parents' faith according to godparents or according to grandparents' of faith. Because we believe that the power of the Holy Spirit enters into their lives and protect them, hide them, and walk with them, and hold them when they are going through difficult times. And then we all promise ourselves to raise our children in accordance of our faith, the Word of God, and so when they grow up, when they become adults, they can profess their faith, then they go through confirmation, you know. So they became uh, full-grown, baptized Christians. That's what it means to us. It shows God's love and grace. You are sealed by His blood, blood of Jesus is upon each one of you. That's what it means to be a baptized Christian. Got it? Right. And the second, that I want you all pull out your Bible and I want you to uh, read it for me. And normally I don't do that, but this is I want you to know. Second, the baptism signifies that we are adopted as God's sons and daughters. And Ephesians chapter 1, verse 5, I want you to memorize or mark it, or you know, if you have your Bible, you mark it, and you find it and say amen, and we got to read it all together. Found it? Ephesians 1. All right, those who read out loud for us. He, I'm sorry, I just had cataract surgery. Ah, okay. See, I, I knew that you were in trouble. That's why. Okay. He, who is he? Paul. Ah, yeah.
yeah? He gave us, He predestined us. Does it say? Yes. Okay. Okay. What's the verse? Ephesians chapter 1, verse 5. Verse 5. Oh, oh, wow. Verse 5. Does it say, He predestined us? us to be adopted as his son and daughters I'm his son in accordance to his pleasure through, well. through who? Jesus Christ through Jesus Christ in accordance, accordance with his pleasure with his and will pleasure and his will so if you are baptized Christian <coughs> that means you are predestined hallelujah Predestined to be adopted into a past family. You are loyal, loyal family. This is what I was says. So through baptism, that signifies that you are sons and daughters of God. That's why after baptism, I always say, this is a child of most high God. Remember? And you are so special, so precious. And then the problem comes, well, I thought I was so special, but so is she. And so is he. So is he. <laughs> Everybody, so that I don't feel so special. You know. We have a president, Obama, has two daughters, right? Two or three? Two, two daughters. They are, of course, <laughs> fantasy. Which one is less valuable? Which one is uh, more precious? Can you tell me? No. 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 They are, first, family. They both are very precious, very valuable, right? So do you. You are in a royal family. You are God's child, precious, vital child. See, the problem is we come into a family of different types of faith journey, different types of personality, different types of likes and dislikes and you name it. So we are all together, but we are family. We are family. Family is supposed to work things out and live together in harmony. 